Hello guys and welcome to my tutorial. Today I will teach how to install Internet Information Services to host a website on your Windows Windows Server 2012 operating operational system. Okay, let's go guys. First of all, you need to open the server manager. Then click on add roles and features. Uh next next now you need to select what the server you want to install this service so i only have one server right now okay let's select this one microsoft windows server 2012 r2 data center evaluation edition okay so next and now we can look for what we want web server internet information services here it here it, it is sorry okay now click add features click next and wait okay now you you can select some features to install on iis so let's take a look on it oh yeah oh let me take a look on it Windows Biometric Framework, Windows Standards, XPS Viewer. No, I want to install anything. Let's click Next. Next again. Road Services. Now it's up to you. You can select some things to install along with IIS. I won't change anything. I just will add some security features like url authorization and windows authentication it's great oh if you also want to use ftp to upload some files you can enable ftp server and uh, ftp extensibility so uh now i guess it's all done we can click next and proceed with the installation uh restart the destination server if required of course okay if required we should need to restart the system okay click install and all and let's wait until it installs iis it, it can take a lot of time depends on your hardware it's a virtual machine so it should take a lot of time i really hope i uh, i'm wrong but not sure let's wait oh. Wow, if you are not sure about what IIS does, it's like a web server. You can install, uh, you can install it to host websites to make a, a host server. In fact, you can send your HTML websites or even your CMS with SQL database and PHP and all this stuff all you need to do is wait a bit until it's installed it installs sorry and after this process you are able to host websites keep in mind that you need to open your port 18 right you need to have a web domain effect and uh preferentially your server must be 24 7 online so you really need to keep it with 99% of uptime. Well, if you just want to host localhost websites, no problem. You can, you, you don't need to change anything at all to host on local servers. You don't need to open ports and change anything on your Windows configuration fact. So it's almost done now. We just need to wait a bit more and then we'll, we are going to be able to finally use iis and all its awesome features it's so great to use so clean so understandable it's a very awesome feature on windows server 2012. ah first off all i want to say sorry about my english i'm not a native speaker so you may notice some mistakes some small accent uh bullshit but i'm learning 
and uh, I hope then soon I will be able to speak English fluently. But from now I'm just uh, just a newbie. I know it. Uh, oh, the installation succeeded. So yeah, I I S is finally working. Uh, you can check it on server manager. Let's close this add roles and features wizard because it's already done. Oh, AES, here it is working fine. As you can see, it's green. It means that it's working well. How to check this? First of all, you need to open IIS panel to check if it's really working okay. Uh, this flag shows that it's done. And okay, IIS is now installed and working fine. Let's uh, open IIS, okay? Let's find the way to open it. First of all, you need to click on your, your start menu. Right, click this arrow down, and now you need to click Internet Information Services Manager. It should take a lot of time to start the first time, but it's not a real pain. Okay, IIS is working. Here it's our IIS. Now we need to connect to localhost to start hosting locally right uh it should take some time but not not a real pain as i've said we want to get started with microsoft web platform to stay connected to, with the last web platform confluence well it's up to you i will click yes don't really know why i'm just clicking it so here we go guys okay uh it's redirecting me to some web page oh web platform is tell installer oh it's good it's it's very good if you want to install scripts with ease it's the best feature to install i really recommend it uh download it uh, it's it's great to install because uh it allows you to install lots of community management systems with ease with no pain and you don't need to know a lot of ESQL and PHP to install it. It's just automatic. You click and it, it's, it installs everything for you without any pain. It's so easy to be true. And this is why I love Windows Server so much and all its features. Okay, now we just need to hold on while it downloads and installs microsoft web platform installer on my iis server oh yeah it's a real pain i hate waiting but what what can we do right okay now uh, iis should be working and yeah it's working and we can check it easily first of all open your web browser and type localhost and here we go what a surprise our website is up and running it's the default web page of iis when it it's when it is installed uh it's just a welcome web page you can let it and change it for anything uh let me take a look at it uh, it's our default website, right? Let's open it. Okay, let's try to delete it and add a new web page. Yeah, right, let's try to do it. Oh, web platform installer is already working. Microsoft, Microsoft Azure. Oh, take a look at it. Products, applications. Oh, if you want to install uh, uh, CMS, first of all, you need SQL, right? So let's uh, take a look on SQL Server. It's on Frameworks. Here you can install PHP uh, 5.6 for IAS Express. You can even add some Net Framework things, PowerShell stuff. Uh, Pipe, Python, 
Oh, it's very great. Oh, here you can find a lot of lots of stuff about MySQL. Let's install MySQL Windows 5.1. Let's click Add. And now we need to click Install to install the SQL Server. Okay, we have detected that we will be installing MySQL. Please enter information below to complete your installation. Uh, you need to set a default password for your root account. What's the root? It's the the root password of the MySQL, the uh, master admin of the SQL database. So let's type any pa password. Uh, if it's a shared computer or, or what, whatever, don't save your password. But if you are the only one server manager on your company, save it. It won't be a real pain. So click install. It will download 99 megabytes. Holy shit. Now let's wait. Oh my god. My internet so damn slow, but let's wait and after installing mysql we can install almost any community management management system on it this is why i really love web platform installer 5.0 oh my god my internet so slow but okay well uh let me oh shit i can't do anything at all damn oh shit okay let's try to find the 80 docs folder and start and start creating our first website just for testing uh how to find this explore yeah here we are it's local disk inet pub Dable, 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 root. It's how it's where it's located. So let's add a document, a text document, index HTML. Oh shit! It it's not working with the most recent Windows, but not a pain at all. Let's just open it. Uh, save as all files encoding UTF-8 because I'm Brazilian so I I will use UTF-8 uh, okay I want to replace it but for fuck's sake oh shit it's still not working no oh my god what the fuck okay all files UTF-8 now oh yeah I want to replace it let's check it if it works uh, HTML body uh, title title tutorial close title oh my god what I'm doing uh, mm, test I won't close uh, okay save this bullshit and let's check if it's really working localhost dot uh, index ATML. Oh my god, not all the results. Oh yeah, this is why it's not really saved as HTML, but here it is. Okay, our web host service is working. It's up and running pretty well, I guess. I'm, I just got a bit, a bit confused with this stuff. Let's try to save as index ATM and as NC codification all files let's delete this okay oh shape blue block okay now I guess then we can do it oh, oh my god okay fuck this fuck this it's it's making me a bit angry let's check how the installation is going Oh, it's almost done. SQL is almost there. IIS is up and running, and soon we are going to be able to host almost anything on this uh, forum. 
uh, social network, on uh, internet, a uh, normal web, web page, a porn website, a uh, video website. You can do anything with IIS. You just have a web server right at your home or at your company. It depends on where you're watching and doing this. So, okay, it's a bit confusing, but uh, it's very easy to to learn. It's it's uh, hard to master, in fact, but it's easy to learn. Easy to learn and hard to master. Oh my God, my internet so slow today, but not a real pain. Let's just wait. Do it finishes. Oh, my speed in, is increasing now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this. Let's go. Let's go, bitch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can do it. Finally, it's done. Time to install my SQL. Uh, web platform installer does it for me. I just need to sit my ass on my chair and wait. Nothing as easy as it. It's so easy to do. And this is why Windows Server is the best. No, I do not hate Linux, but Windows is love. Windows is life. Everything is so easy to do. And oh yeah, here it is. My SQL is done and working fine. Ah. Uh, not yet. Oh, I can't believe it. Okay. We just need to wait and configure and then finish the installation. My SQL will be work fine. You'll be working fine, pardon. Okay, it's installed. Uh we can finish. And well, we are done here for today. I will make some tutorials later teaching how to create a uh, website on it, how to really manage AIIS and adding stuff and maybe installing a community management system. I just teach you how to install the basics like IIS and my SQL, the most important things to install uh, right after uh, doing the stuff. But uh, you can also install PHP, it's important. Uh, you also can install the framework stuff at all. It's very, very important to install these things. Well, that's it, guys. It was my first tutorial. Uh, sorry about my English one more time. Uh, I'm not really a fluent speaker, but I hope that you could understand everything. If not, comment. I will try to help you uh, with your job. And well, good luck. That's it. And uh one more once more sorry about my crappy english that's it goodbye